Welcome back, everyone. From unpredictable toddlers to cheating scandals, there's a lot to talk about when it comes to parenting choices making headlines this week. Kara, the mom coach, Susan Morley, Atlanta Moms blogger, Sherry Owens, and myself recently discussed them all in Real Talk. Ladies, thank you for being here. Hi, I'm excited. Oh. Excited. Kara and I were excited to dive into all these. these I mom. am. I want to do like a rapid fire real talk. So and that's what we're doing. It. That's okay. what we're doing. Okay, first headline. Are you ready for this? It stems right here in Georgia. I'm surprised it's not Florida, but it's not. A pregnant mom could face jail time over a potty training mishap. We have all been there. All right, Brooke John says there she is. She's driving with her three year old son, told her he needed to use the restroom. She decided to pull into a gas station parking lot, but quickly realized her son wasn't going to be able to make it to the toilet. Oh no, inside, of course. All right, well, she wasn't able to pick him up because she is just weeks before giving birth and was ordered by the doctor not to lift anything. So running out of options, she covered her toddler and let him pee outside. That's when an officer approached and ended up giving her a ticket. Are you ready for disorderly conduct? Please, it's ridiculous. Somebody tell me what was he thinking, and what would you have done in this situation, Susan? What well, do you think? I, I actually have some personal experience with this. Right. Pregnant with a recently potty trained toddler mm -hmm. on a plane, and I, I, but I didn't get a ticket because I obeyed the flight attendant, so I stayed in the seat. And well, I'll just say it was a very wet um, flight to San oh Francisco. No. no. Yes. So, I mean, you have no options sometimes. You have to do what you got to do. Mm -hmm. Oh, she wouldn't was, let you get up and go to the bathroom or no, get, take him to. No. That's terrible. Well, it was safety issues. So I know, I, okay, I, got I it. Like, of course, yes. The flight okay. attendants. I know. But, but it was uncomfortable. You poor thing. <laughs> I think we've all had those. I've been there, right? Yes. And I have one in the Chick fil A drive through. And I, again, our kids are very, they're two years apart, both of us, we just realized that. And I was extremely pregnant with my son. My daughter was potty training, so they're 23 months apart. I'm in the Chick fil A drive through in small little Destin, longest line ever, and she had to go. And I have a little to-go potty in the back of the trunk like mm -hmm. most of us do because of girls. It's very hard with girls. It's mm -hmm. so much different potty training, right? Yeah. Oh, my so girls took forever. I had to park in the middle of the drive through lane because there was nowhere for me to go. I was right. in the drive through and mm. just had to take her out. And they were so sweet. No one complained. No one cared. Yeah. But this poor mom. I know. And you had a, well, you had the situation of them just sick, not yeah. Potty. Yeah, but I mean, when you are driving and right. you're dealing with something like that, you just gotta do what you gotta do, right? Yeah, I had, uh, what you're referring to is I had, um, I think it was James or Isaac, one of them threw up in the back seat and oh. my husband took them into the, um, the rest stop we were at, and I turn around, and my husband's just sitting there with like stand, walking out with a naked child. And I was like, "What are you doing?" He's like, "Well, he had vomit all over him, yeah. so I just threw all his clothes." Yeah, off. right. I was like, "We're gonna get a ticket because he's like nude." And not my husband, just the baby. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. He's like, "You know what? I'm stripping down too. I'm gonna but be comfortable." I, just, I think it's ridiculous. I mean, this poor woman. She was probably mortified, right, that she had to even make that split decision, to, and her kid had to go, and then. And then an officer comes up and gives her a ticket. Like I can't imagine how and just, people, like embarrassed you would be. And they're and people are really upset. In fact, we asked you to weigh in. And uh, Chrissy says, shame on that police officer for putting a pregnant mother and small child through this. Uh, she should be preparing for a child's birth, not worried about jail time. Mm -hmm. I would have done the exact same thing if it was my kid. Mm -hmm. TJ says, of all the hate crimes and shootings out there, and this is what the officer wants, you know, mm -hmm. to to nail down. Ridiculous. Right. Um, and then the fact that she could be facing 60 days of jail time, thousands in fines. Hopefully, now that this po particular police department is getting a lot of uh, heat, mm -hmm. this will not be happening. Right. But, but just the fact that she has, has to go through the trouble right. is, what was that, Haley? Oh, good question. Yeah. If it was a woman police officer, would she have had more empathy? Um, yes, yes. So. absolutely. Yes. 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 Done that. yes. yes. Okay. Absolutely. <laughs> I hope so. I would hope so. Yeah. I've gotten three tickets in the past two weeks. <laughs> So I know. So what is going on? I don't know. I'm just like somebody so, has a crush on you because it's the same officer. Wait, what? I, I, yeah, well, this is another. You can show me in other ways. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to 
to keep getting tickets. Buy me a but, cup of coffee. That's really, right. But yeah, right. my point, like, if she's also getting ready to have this baby and she has a toddler, it's expensive. And mm -hmm. then she gets this ticket, and now she has probably has to have a lawyer and all these things. It's, Too much stress. Yes. Yeah. Too much yes. Stress. Ridiculous. I know. So I'm we not wish you. Myself to her, but I'm just saying, no. It's you know. true. Kara's <laughs> like, no. but okay. still, we need to go to court. We need. I'm yeah. gonna help you. <laughs> okay, I'm like, you won't get a ticket for that. Just show uh, me your license. Uh, Okay. We, we've anyway. I'm her attorney. I don't okay. charge her any fees. Okay. All right. Our second. Mm -hmm. Oh, by the way, good luck to that mom. You've yeah. got yes. all of our yeah. support. Yes. Absolutely. Okay. Second headline is based on a principal whose rant over the college cheating scandal, well, cheating in general, has gone viral. Take a look. Everybody's just so surprised about this. You know who's not surprised? Or an educator in the whole world? Do you know why? Because this kind of thing happens every a day at schools. You know what this is? A parent not agreeing with a policy or a rule, sometimes even a law, so they're just gonna do whatever they want um, uh, because they think it's best for their child. You know who else disagrees with policies? Aunt Becky. <laughs> All right, he goes yes. on to give examples, yes. everybody. He goes to give examples of cheating from parents who sign their children's reading log when the children maybe didn't read as much yeah. as they said, yeah. um, to where their children live so they can go to a better school. Um, what do you think about this? Do you think it's right, first of all, those examples, should they be compared to parents, you know, bribing people, <laughs> paying millions of dollars, like Aunt Becky, uh, allegedly, uh, to get their children into some top colleges. It, it, I mean, do you think it's apples and oranges? What do you think, honestly? Well, well I love everything that's going on in that video. I love his shirt, yeah. I love <laughs> everything about him. Um, but, but everything. Yes, I'm sure. I didn't get that part, that was good. Um, but I mean, obviously it's like, is every sin equal in this circumstance? No, I mean, there's some gray areas you can't, um, you can't, a felony you can't compare to not signing your kid's reading list. Yet they're okay, all but okay. I'm what? Push yes. back. I'm yeah. push back okay, because good. it's a continuum. So it starts with the reading log, but it's it's the same line. Sure. You know, it's just one's more egregious than the other. But the, the I think the biggest concern is the message that these parents are giving, whether they're signing reading logs mm -hmm. or paying a half a million dollars, yeah. is we're above the rules. Right. That we don't mm. have to abide by the rules that everyone else has to abide by. And that's a terrible message. Now, I think parents are well intentioned. These are not evil people. Right. But they get carried away and they don't realize the unintended consequences. It can start off small, as you're saying, but then, and perhaps it did for these parents the little things and then it just snowballs because you've exactly. gotten used to kind of bending the truth. Right. Mm -hmm. Well, and essentially, isn't that lazy? That's lazy parenting. Oh, because yes. if, if, if you were on top of it, then you would make your kids read and do this yep. and do that. Like, or, or make the, um, know, this, not the sacrifice, but make the right decisions at the right time. And right. then you won't get stuck down that Or hole. if your child just gets into school, they get into school and you don't have to right. do anything about it because, first of all, Aunt Becky is my husband's girlfriend. <laughs> so when this all happened, oh. I texted him a photo and I said, your girlfriend's going in jail. <laughs> and you, and I love John. Yeah. yeah. You had a moment for, I know, right. Right. but you had a moment for a minute where you're like, mm-hmm, look who's mm -hmm. not so perfect. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Because it, I had to work very hard to get into college. I was an art major. You know, s testing does not come easy to me. I'm just, I'm not that, you know, my brain does not function that way. So. It took me twice to actually get into the college I ended up going into. I interviewed first and they said, not yet, you know, you got to finish your AA, you got to get all these tests, higher, higher scores. So it's really hard to see someone pay their way into school when it right. takes me, my parents and not the money. I come from a military background. Yeah. I had to get there on my own. Yes. And this is ridiculous. It I'm is. sorry. Yes, it it's is. just ridiculous. Yeah. And now they're getting more publicity from it. And then the kid, her daughter actually said, mom, I didn't want to go to school anyway. Whoa! Oh, I know. I mean, she's still conducting Whoa. herself with like no. I mean, she looks like she could care less. Uh, she's walking into court, signing autographs. It kills so, me. I yeah. know that that kills me. So, mm -hmm. but we do love um, our friends' viral video. We, like you said, yeah. everything about <laughs> yes. that was perfect. Yes. 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 Nice. Okay. Lastly, something else that has a lot of moms talking lately. Um, well, it's a trend of mothers basically getting their hair and makeup done. It looks like immediately after giving birth, perhaps even while giving birth. Is that possible? I don't know. But look at that. So, usually ahead of a photo shoot from the hospital bed, like the ones you see right here, I mean, how, how is that even? 
I'm just thinking about what was going on in those moments, but I guess a recent study found that the average mom applies makeup within two and a half hours of delivery, and the top reason is to look good on camera. Um, but this is like a full-on photo mm -hmm. shoot. If mm -hmm. you notice, she didn't have the hospital gown on. I did notice. She had like a, a prettier. Oh, her and her baby already <laughs> matched. They, yes. they were like twinning already. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So um, what do you think about this? Who hmm. wants to dive in? Well, okay, I don't want to judge because I remember getting a pedicure. I knew when I was going to have the baby, so I got a yeah, pedicure. I wanted to yeah, kind of put sure. my best foot forward if I could say that. <laughs> yeah. um, I, it was Literally. summer, so I was going to wear flip flops. Yeah, yeah. And, I wanted, right, I guess ready. I wanted the big yeah. wife to be impressed. I don't know. So I understand <laughs> right. putting on makeup before you leave for pictures, but yes. we're not all Princess Kate, okay? They're, we're commoners. Mm -hmm. and yes, we are. There's yeah. a life that happens in between photo opportunities, right? And if your whole life is a photo opportunity and you're getting ready for the picture, where's your life? Right. You know, and, and, isn't it taking away from the miracle of childbirth? Yes. I mean, Absolutely. What, what's wrong with looking sweaty and tired? Because right. they call it labor for a reason. Yes. Yes. Right? Right. right? It's hard work. Right. I don't want it to look like it was easy. No. It was yes. hard. And I earned that yeah. sweat. Right. Right. And, and it, whether you are giving a C-section or you had a natural childbirth, you are still, mm. things are on your face. I mean, at one point, I was being flipped over because my daughter's heartbeat. I mean, we had cords everywhere, and yeah. it just it's just not beautiful, but the moment is, and, and so when I see things like this, I feel like we as society are going, oh, but remember when Faith Hill gave birth, and she looked so good in her pictures afterwards, and remember when this person gave mm -hmm. birth, and look how good, and they, the royals, okay. Uh, yeah, that's a whole other Another level. Another royal game, mm -hmm. but yes, you are missing out. I feel like Aww. you're paying too much attention. There they are. Dude, I'm right. obsessed with the royals. I know, they are so they I mean, y'all, my bags under my eyes, I was telling Kara before the show, mm -hmm. this picture looks like a distorted version. I was so exhausted. Yeah. I just, yeah. that would be the last thing on my mind. I mean, eventually I think a picture, I don't know, I have to look back and maybe have lipstick on and, yeah. Yeah. you know, you're smiling with the baby, but it was hours later, maybe right. even the next day. What yeah. did you do? Oh, I look like a total serial killer. Like, I was <laughs> Was like bloated and like tired. <laughs> I went to bed with wet hair the night before, yeah. so I was like, I mean, it was a mess. So I, if you want to do that, fine. But I love your point about where, what are we enjoying? Are we in the moment? If we're just getting ready for the photo op afterwards, it right. feels sad a little and bit. And isn't it more touching? Like even let's say uh, adoptive parents when they have that picture and their eyes are puffy because they're, they've been crying tears yeah. of joy, they've been mm -hmm. waiting for this moment. Right. Isn't that more touching right. than a photo where everyone looks plastic and perfect? Uh, exactly. Yeah. Oh, I, it's so true. Again, that I don't want to... did look good, though. She did she look so good. Pretty. I Super bet cute. she got a lot of likes. <laughs> I <laughs> bet. Hey, she did. I <laughs> bet you right. she did. And she tagged yeah. the person that she was wearing uh, and the baby yes. was wearing yes. and the hospital and photographer got credit for Yes, it. I so know. So good for you. Yes. yes. Oh, gosh. Ladies, you're so awesome. Awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right. We appreciate it. All right, more Atlanta Company coming up next. Yeah, I, I look like a mess, but mm -hmm. I did wear cute socks See? in the winter. Yeah. That's what I did for.